we've got the Jack Pike team. Um, so yeah, first day you have with us this year and we're, we're doing Driven Ducks. No, it should be good. What we're going to do, have breakfast, then we're going to head over to Buttermilk. Yeah. Um, we do two drives, then we'll have a little bit of soup, keep you warm, because it's a really cold day. And then we we'll do another drive, back for lunch, and then we we'll do two drives this afternoon. So hopefully the last drive will be a bit of a finale with a, a lot of ducks and a lot of banging. Sounds like a perfect day. Well, we'll see how you shoot. Welcome back to the team. Um, so today's a duck day, slightly different than normal. We're going to shoot both estates. Nine guns. We've got two from the right. One join your Peggy live. Whistle on the drive. Obviously no foxes, no grand game. And please shoot safely. That's it, really. That's good. Enjoy your day. Pick your cards up, please. Help yourselves to a <laughs> drink. Numbers on the bottom. Ladies first. Straight. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Right. Come right. right. <laughs> a, a cup, guys. Let's oh, get going. Time's pressure. Numbers on the board. Cheers. Cheers, get out. Yeah, Duke's been a legend really. He does walked up, um, he does beating, picking up, stands with the guns, he stands with the peg, peg dog when I go shooting as well. So, and he's even done tracking of deer as well, and he'll flush and, and get hold of a, of a Chinese water deer when he got really? a wounded deer. So he's, he covers everything. To ask the dog to do that, I'm happy, you know. I don't, need, I don't need to stop him at 50 yards and send him left, send him right, because I'm normally talking to you guys and keeping you guys happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, we know that Duke is one of our favourites here at Jackpot. <laughs> However, in the cage there, there seems to be another little one. Who's this? This is young Maverick. So Duke's getting on a bit now. He's uh, he's 10 years old. He's still super fit and um, going strong. But you know, there's a day when he's not going to be uh, so active as he is now. So um, the young gun, Maverick, yeah, is uh, hopefully going to supersede him. So what's the plan with Maverick then to get him to Duke's standard? Because Duke's fantastic, as we always say. And normally with a young dog, they follow the, like, the older dog. But Maverick, he's matured very early. Right. And he's, he's got his own mind, so he won't follow Duke at all. He'll do his own okay. thing. So I basically brought him out on the shoot days. Um, so he rides around in the, in the uh, vehicle, and then we bring him out for a little bit of a say hello to everybody, get him acclimatised to people and right. used to dogs and hearing the banging and bits and pieces. And gradually bringing him into sort of like the... It's like the, the day, um, rather than just bringing him out for a whole day. So it comes out, puts the guns out yeah. with me, sits him up, before the shooting starts, put him away. And so I just gradually it's like bring him into it, yeah. So when would you hope that he would um, come out fully, so to speak? Uh, next and, season, yeah. yeah. So this year, this year he'd have a little taste of it. I wouldn't normally bring a, a dog out quite as early as him, but he is so, this is the way I do it. Yeah. This is not the professional's way because obviously the professionals probably hate it, you know, because <laughs> obviously their, their, their style of a dog is totally different what I do. A trialing dog is different to what I need for a, a shoot day dog. Yeah.
there's quite a few renovations I'm noticing uh, in the lodge. What have you done this year then? Oh, we had a big revamp really. Uh, the new owners took over the estate, so they let us do some more stuff to the shoot lodge and, and um, make it made a little, little bit better. We got a nice bar with my new barman here. It's gonna nice. you're gonna man it for me later, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doing quite a few different things. We put new lights in and yeah, just basically make it a bit more, a bit more comfortable and a bit more uh, homely. It's looking very nice. Done Thank very you. Good job. Thank you. The ducks are flying well. They have been flying really well, actually, too well on some drives because obviously the, the ratio of cartridges went up. Um, everyone's using obviously steel this year. And I've sort of like enforced everyone use like 32 gram upwards, um, threes, fours minimum. And then you're getting this, like, the, the good kill shot. So yeah, that's, that's really important, actually. Again, it's like a learning curve that anyone turns up with the, with the smaller cartridge, you know, you can't hit those higher birds. So yeah, it's important to take the right kit, kit for the job. Fantastic day. Pleasure, Pete. Pleasure, Pete. Pleasure, Pete. Yeah, no, great, great. What did you enjoy the most today, then? That last drive was incredible. Yeah. Ducks flying everywhere. I mean, yeah. Yeah. chaotic discombobulation, <laughs> I think, is the only way Hang to on a minute. It. What's that word mean? Just uh, chaos. Anyway. <laughs> Some different levels, some, some oh, great really high birds. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, brilliant job. Wow. Excellent. Onward. Thank you very much. Pleasure. <laughs>